Understandably, there was joy on one side of the courtroom, disappointment on the other. The jury didn't believe there was enough evidence for a conviction. The not guilty verdict inspired prayers of thanks, hugs and tears from Garrick Powell's family and supporters. Powell's father explains what he saw in his son's eyes. Faith. He's a man of God. I saw faith. And I have faith. The city state's attorney's office issued a statement. Unfortunately, despite our best efforts, a jury has rendered a verdict of not guilty in the Dante Barksdale murder, and we extend our heartfelt sympathies to his family. Although we disagree with the verdict, we thank the jury for their service. The jury made the right decision. I honestly believe that there was nowhere close to enough evidence to be able to convict my client on this case. He maintained his innocence from the beginning, was waiting for his day in court, and thankfully we finally got it, and it, he can put it behind him and move on his life. The jury acquitted Garrick Powell on all charges associated with the shooting death of Safe Streets worker Dante Barksdale. The shooting happened January 17, 2021, in a courtyard at Douglas Homes Housing Project. Oh, we're just pleased with the case. We felt like the case was purely circumstantial. There were no eyewitnesses. Grainy surveillance footage made it impossible to identify anyone in it. There were no fingerprints, no motive provided or narrative connecting Powell to Barksdale. The prosecution used cell phone data to put Powell near the crime scene. And Rondo County Police recovered a handgun, a ghost gun, during a traffic stop underneath the seat of a car Powell was a passenger in. Ballistics linked the weapon to the crime scene, but DNA swabs of that gun were not tested. There were three other people in the vehicle. The defense didn't see a need to put Powell on the witness stand or call any witnesses. The state hadn't proved their case. They hadn't done anything close to getting to that point. And so, um, generally speaking, at that point, it's the state's burden, and they didn't meet their burden, so we felt no need to put on a case. Barksdale's wife, who did not want to be identified, says she's very disappointed in the verdict and justice was not served. She says life since the murder has been hell for her family, especially his daughter, because they were best friends. Reporting live from the Mitchell Courthouse downtown, David Collins, WBIL-TV 11 News.